So we're rolling with contestant number three. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Chris Maddock. Tom, Steph, and everyone, my own good luck charm. That's right. Don't I look liberal? <laughs> Nazi. Or Sean Penn, kind of. You seen those, uh, uh, the Elf Rankin commercial with the bowlers, or the anti-Elf Rankin commercial? Not the, there's three bowlers, and not the one where they, you know, he brought hockey back. That's not that one, but the, there's an, a real anti, there's these three bowlers, and, and they're, they're talking about all the bad things that Elf Rankin has done. He tell, he tells them sexist, tasteless jokes, and the other two bowlers. Because I was in a room full of bowlers once who love hockey, and I told some tasteless, sexist jokes. Bad <laughs> drinking light beer and not not the crowd for that really. I really hate that. And they say and he walked and he wrote all that juicy porn. <laughs> juicy. That just makes it sound a little more dirty. They're referring to uh, when he um, wrote an article, a fantasy article for Playboy, and then uh, Betty McCollum called that indefensible. Um, I have a defense for that. Uh, Playboy's not porn. <laughs> it's a plastic surgery monthly. That's what it is. Hey, look, I got the nipples almost straight on this one. Wow! Marvel of modern medicine and science. <laughs> it's not. Republicans, man, they hate porn. Porn kills love, they say. <laughs> have you been to my house? <laughs> it kind of helps the love along. Don't fight porn. How about that? There's stuff in this world you could be fighting that's a little more horrible and evil and wrong. Like soft porn. So <laughs> these films are frustrating at best. <laughs> fuzzy making out dudes with ponytails and shit. I'd look more liberal if I had a ponytail. That's something I'm conservative about. Ponytails. Not forum. On dudes. We gotta stop that, you know? If you want people to take you seriously, you can't have the hemp pants and the sandals and the ponytail because everything you say, you can have the most the best liberal talking points that all the Republicans are going to hear is, Man, you are lame. Oh, I'm so high. Look at my hands. Oh, I got two. It's like, who invented clapping, man? It's like, that's all they're going to hear. You just got to look the part if you're going to do it. I don't know. But, uh, and plus, how do you feel like a guy every morning in the shower with your ponytail? I'm sorry. You get me late tonight, baby. Watch the game. <laughs> That's weird. That's ponytails, whatever. Hey, okay, have you noticed this? The, is, it, is it just me? Is it a really disproportionate number of artists and musicians that are just not Republicans? No? This isn't the bluest part of the state, is it? That's okay. Um, <laughs> Really, I mean, okay, Republicans have uh, a real lockdown on awful country music. We know that. Um, you know, not, I mean, Kenny Chesney, whatever, not like Willie Nelson, but I don't think Willie Nelson's a Republican. <laughs> uh, and you know, that's the war on drugs thing, man. When you're arresting Willie Nelson twice a year, something's wrong, you know? It's not working, you know? I hope the cop, whoever arrests Willie Nelson next time, goes to the station. They're just like, bravo, man. Wow, you're going to make detective. <laughs> what tipped you off? Willie Nelson, huh? <laughs> Private dick. Leave him alone. <laughs> Willie Nelson, man. <laughs> Even the dog's like, dude, it's Willie. Come on, man. We all smell Willie all the time. It's like a white noise voice. Leave him alone. <laughs> Makes great music and hurts no one. Oh, the Republicans have the nuge, though. I wouldn't want to live in a world without Ted Nugent. I'll give him that. All right. <laughs> you know what that commercial, back to that commercial, though, this is the thing that bugs me. This is what they say. They say, well, why don't we just, those bowlers say, why don't we just run for Senate? We're just as qualified as Al Franken, and we're better bowlers. And it's like, the point, that, that what their point is, really, is, we're just, we're so stupid, we're as dumb as Al Franken. That's why we're voting for Norm Coleman. <laughs> there. You're dumb. <laughs> just like Al Franken. We vote for people that are better than us and richer than us 
who are whiter than us and have freakishly huge straight teeth and look like Jaws from the James Bond movies, but evil on in real life. <laughs> That's what, why isn't why can't we vote with a little instinct for once? You know, Dick Cheney, Don Rumsfeld, Carl Rove. These guys just look evil. They just look it. You know, Don Rumsfeld. You know the the, 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 the what was Rove? What's his name? <laughs> he's gone. He's he's gone somewhere else. He just got bored of his own evil genius. These people are like my liege. What can we do to make the Repub the Democrats lose this election? He's just like I don't know. Tell them they have sex with goats. I'm so bored. <laughs> he looks like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters, but again, evil in real life. Uh, but no matter what you think, you know what was cool about this election is that uh, Ron Paul thing, man, he made some waves. That was kind of cool. He's a Republican who wants to make marijuana legal. <laughs> I bet you Whitley's voting for him. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, uh, I'm a Republican now? What happened? What kind of bizarro world is this? Hoses shoot fire! <laughs> Ladders go straight across! Republicans love weed! Wow, what's happening? <laughs> it's true, 9-11 did in fact change everything! <laughs> Alright folks, hey, I think that's my time, I think. Thank you very much.